¿Cómo estamos? Hello. Hello, hello, everyone. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thanks. Excellent. Thank you so Don't much. So. I'm fine. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much. Rolando, you see, you are at the beach at this moment, Rolando. You see, yesterday you were camping. Yeah. But, but in Bora Bora, Bora. Wow, excellent in Bora Bora, my friend. Look at lo voy a invitar un día de esto. Look at Tito. Tito is in the forest as well. Hey, excellent, Tito. Eh, Panoramic Conchagua Volcano. Wow, my goodness, That's excellent. Bonito. Really nice, beautiful pictures, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, everybody, and good evening. Welcome for today's video conference. I appreciate on your punctuality to be here in the video conference. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Let me see on the people who are here. We have 18 people at this moment. That's a good number. That's a good number. At this moment, and as always, we are going to be checking on the attendance. So when you listen to your name, please make a verbal confirmation that you are here in the class. Let me get started on this attendance. <laughs> Miss Alejandra Gabriela Perez. Present teacher, good night. Hi, good evening. Ana Guadalupe Fuentes. Miss Ana Guadalupe Fuentes. All right, I continue. Miss Azucena Enriquez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. I continue on the attendance. Brian Joel Morrodas. Present. Thank you so much. Carolina Abigail Vasquez. Present. Thank you. Cindy Tatiana Vasquez. Present. Much. Uh, Miss Cira Berfale Aguilar. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Present. Claudia. Thank you. Miss Claudia Elizabeth Martinez. Claudia Elizabeth Martinez. All right, I continue. Uh, Erika Vanessa Marroquín. Present. Thank you. Esmeralda Janet Mendez. Present. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Evelyn Abigail Ramos. Present. Thank you, thank you. Fátima del Carmen Amaya. Present. Thank you so much. Giselle Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Indira Nirvana Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Ivania Guevara. Ana Ivania. All right, I continue. Mr. Josue Abraham Lopez. Josué Abraham López, probably not at this time. Carla Guadalupe Pacheco. Present. Thank you so much. Carla Lisette Méndez. Miss Carla Lisette Méndez. Probably not at this time. I continue. Luis Daniel Rosa. Present teacher. Much, thank you so much. Madeline Beatriz Moran. Present. Thank you. Uh, Maria Jose, I guess she's not available. Let me check on the next person. Miss Mariana Dolores Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Marlon Napoleon Fuentes. Marlon Napoleón Fuentes, no at this moment. Miss Rina Estela García. Rina Estela, 
right? Probably not at this time. Mr. Rolando Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Ruth Stephanie Melendez. Miss Ruth, 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 Stephanie. Probably not at this time. Miss Sandra Marisol Campos. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Tito Alberto Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Tito. And I have Xiomara Alejandra. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you people for your confirmation on the attendance. Now, before we begin with today's practice, I just want to give you some feedback about the platform. Let me check on this info, All right? And also to remind you about the importance to be in all the sessions that we're missing at this moment. After this, today's session, we only have two more sessions to finish on the course. So congratulations everyone for getting until this, uh, this uh, week and to this day. And I want to motivate you to continue working hard to complete on the course. Quiero felicitarles y recordarles que esta ya es la última semana de este curso. Aparte de esta sesión que tenemos este día, vamos a quedar nada más pendiente con dos sesiones. Así que felicitarle, ¿verdad? Por el esfuerzo que han hecho en todo el curso de estar acá presente e igualmente animarles a que no perdamos eh, estos últimos días de clase, ya que recordamos que es importante también para practicar y seguir aprendiendo y poniendo en práctica el idioma inglés e igualmente para poder tener tiempo de conexión que es muy necesario en nuestro curso, ya que es un prerequisito para estar en el siguiente curso. Así que les hago el llamado por ahí a que estemos eh, siempre constantes como lo han hecho en todo el curso para poder eh, tener ¿verdad? todo el tiempo de conexión. Mr. Rolando, question, question. Eh, sí, con respecto, me estaba comentando un compañero uh -huh. que el nuevo hoja de inscripción era diferente, cambiaba. Uh -huh. Yo utilicé la de la vez pasada, pues la primera, no he ocupado mucho. Ajá. ¿Qué tan cierto es eso? ¿Es otra hoja de inscripción o qué? Pues fíjese Porque que esa... La fecha abajo cambiaba. Ah, ok. Fíjese que la documentación, eh, por lo menos a mí no se me hace llegar en esos procesos. Creería yo... Eh, ah. que lo indicado sería mejor preguntar con mis compañeros de administración, ¿verdad? Igual ellos cuando revisen su documentación, si existe algún problema, eh, ellos se lo reportarían directamente a usted, ¿verdad? Pero si no, usted puede tomar la iniciativa y hacer la interrogante. Puede que el documento sea eh, un tanto diferente. Yo no lo he revisado, para serle sincero, ¿verdad? A mí no me ha llegado esa información, pero cada ejecución lleva cierta información específica del curso. Por ejemplo, cuando inicia, cuando finaliza, puede ser que tenga esa información. ¿verdad? Entonces, lo, tal vez lo importante o lo que le sugeriría yo en este punto es averiguar con mis compañeros de administración para... Eh, para ver si eso no le va a, ¿cómo se llama?, generar algún problema, que digan, hey, esta era una hoja nueva, no la anterior, ¿verdad? Entonces, esa sería como mi sugerencia en este caso. Si usted gusta, eh, con los números de contacto que le escriben, ¿verdad?, para proporcionar la información, usted puede contactarse con ellos, o si no, lo puede hacer también en el grupo donde estamos incluidos todos, ya que mis compañeros de administración igualmente están por ahí eh, eh, incluidos en ese chat. Okay. Gracias. Bueno, veo que por ahí Miss Ruth le está dando cierta información, así que muy bueno. Muchas gracias por la información también. Uh -huh. Let me see. Uh, oh, as, as I was telling you on the info, please don't forget to, have, to connect to this final week. La es importante no perderse ningún día de clases, ya que eso nos va a servir para igual cumplir con otro requisito de conexión. Nada más déjeme por aquí chequear, felicitar a la mayoría. 
veo por acá y me alegra mucho ver que la mayoría de personas ya han completado su plataforma y muy bueno ver que todos hemos trabajado arduamente para obtener un 100 de calificación en todas las tareas, en el examen de medio curso e igualmente en el examen final, ¿verdad? Eso es muy bueno. Igual si usted ya terminó su plataforma y no tiene la not una nota de 100, le animo a que pueda revisar el ejercicio que le hace falta la de ahí tratar de, de completarlo o volverlo a hacer para obtener la puntuación requerida. Ahí veo por ahí que sí, casi un 90 y algo por ciento ya andamos eh, con la información y nada más Quisiera en este caso pedirle la colaboración a dos personas que veo que todavía no hemos completado la plataforma. Veo por acá a Mr. Josué Abraham López, si está presente, le pido por favor que pueda eh, trabajar eh, mañana quizás en lo del día para poder completar la plataforma e igualmente pedirle la colaboración a Miss Alejandra Gabriela Pérez para completar la, la información ya que todavía estamos pendientes de ciertas tareas así que yo sé que el tiempo no se ha cerrado pero lo recomendable si se puede mañana completarla sería magnífico así el jueves que es el último día no estamos pendientes con ninguna información así que pedirle su colaboración y yo sé que y les agradezco de antemano porque yo sé que ustedes van a escuchar mi petición y lo van a tomar a bien. Así que muchas gracias. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Now, let's get started with practice, people. We need to be talking, talking in English, talking in English. Let me see. Um, projecting, projecting. What is it? What is it? Here. Here it is. Fine, people. At this moment, we are going to be checking on the information for today. And as you know, today is session number 14, right? 14, we're missing only two. Two more sessions and we finish. We continue working with the present continuous tense. At this moment, we are going to have some information about spelling. Spelling information. Check on this one. This is the example. I am going to show you a verb, and the verb is in the base form, right? Normal verb. And what is our task? Our task is to spell the version, but in the ing form. Take a look at this one. For example, I don't say read, I say R, E, A, D, I, N, G. I give you the base form and you tell me the version in the ING. Take a look at this one. And I am going to ask one specific person for the help on spelling. Let me see on the people who are connected at this moment. Let me see. Oh, I need the collaboration at this moment of Evelyn Abigail Ramos. Evelyn, tell me what is the spelling of the verb in the ing. How do you spell it? R. The second one, swim. How do you spell the ing? Vamos a deletrear la versión mm -hmm. en ing, que sería mm -hmm. swimming. Uh -huh. Thank you. How do you spell it? S W mm -hmm. I M. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, I am mm -hmm. G. Thank you. Thank you so much. Listen to this one. I am going to repeat S M. Let's see. S S W I M I N D. One M. M. No. M. Or two M. Two uh, M. W WM. WM. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much. You are correct, people. In this case, we spell it as W I M M I N G. Thank you so much. Take a look at the next one. And I am going to need the collaboration of Miss Sira. Miss Sira, I need your collaboration. I need your collaboration to spell the I N G version of the verb have. Es. Llámale a B. B. 
I N G. All right. One more time, please. H. H A B I N G. Thank you, Miss Sira. I appreciate that. That's correct. H A V I N G. Thank you so much. Mr. Tito, tell me any question? Estaba observando que en el caso cuando el verbo termina con una consonante, se duplica la consonante al agregarle el in. ¿Es eso correcto o solo en algunos casos? In this case, it is just for some, for some of them. For example, the rule uh, that we have is that when the verb finishes in consonant, vowel plus consonant, right? In this case, we're going to double the last letter. La regla consiste en que cuando el verbo finaliza las últimas tres letras, finaliza en consonante, vocal consonante, consonant, vowel consonant, we double the next one, the last one. Double, we duplicate the last one. Take a look at swim. Consonant, W. Vowel, I. Consonant, M. Right? They go for this pattern. In that case, we go for swimming. Similar to this one. Take a look at this one. Stop. Consonant, T. Vowel, O. Final consonant, P. Stop. Right? Stopping. In that case, they go for the rule. That is what we need to remember to know how to double the last consonant. Hmm? Okay. Thank is you, it clear? Sir. Thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. Right? Just, just pay attention in this case to that one, and then you are going to be fine. ¿verdad? Nada más prestamos atención al, al, al orden o al patrón, digamos, ¿verdad? La, la plantilla que nosotros tenemos en este caso. Cuando el verbo finaliza justo en consonante, vocal consonante, duplicamos la última letra, ¿verdad? Así como el caso stop, stopping, uh, swim, swimming, ¿verdad? Y los casos que así aplicasen. Thank you. Now, people, I need the collaboration of everybody. Everybody's collaboration on this. Let me check. Is there? Shop, shopping. Thank you, Ruth. That is other. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for the collaboration in the chat. That's fine. Shop, shopping. Now, take a look at this one. The next one, let me see. Let me go back to my mouse. People, I need your collaboration. When I count to three, one, two, three, all of you together, tell me the spelling of the verb do in that continuous form, right? So we do a group practice for the final two verbs. Everybody ready? One. Two and three. D. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. As you mentioned, D O I N G. Doing, right? Doing. Take a look at the last one. And I need your collaboration to spell the I the I N G form. One, two, and three. W, w, uh, w, w R, R, I, 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 Tell me in this one, listen to my spelling. I listen to some versions and I am double checking at this moment. Listen to this. Is it W-R-I-T-E-I-N-G? Or no E? I-N-G. 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 Let's see. I listen to, at this moment, I listen to Rolando. Ah, no, E, thank you, thank you. Rolando, tell me the spelling. W-R-I-T-E-N-G. -E right. 
Check on this one. Just check on the pronunciation of the last cons the last vowel, I, I N G. Uh, in this case, as you mentioned, no letter E, right? We eliminate the final letter. La letra E final la eliminamos en este caso del verbo, ¿verdad? Y como usted ve, queda W R I T I N G. That should be the information at this moment in the spelling of the verbs. Thank you, thank you so much. Now at this moment, uh, in this case, that is part of the verb, of the rules. The majority of verbs with the final E, they lose the ING. It's just for pronunciation, right? Por cuestiones de pronunciación, la mayoría de verbos que terminan en E, pierden esa letra E y se le incluye el ING. Mm -hmm. exactly. Como ve el ejemplo que tenemos por ahí, have, having, ¿verdad? perdió la E y le agregamos el ING, write, writing, mm -hmm. that okay. should be, Thank you. my pleasure, at this moment people we are going to report on some activities, you are going to think about one person in your house at this moment, and you are going to report one action for that person, for example, at this moment, my mother is cleaning the house, Right? My mother is cleaning the house at this moment, right? What about for you, Mr. Brian Joalmo? Think about one person in the house and report one action for that person. Mm. Check on the microphone, Mr. Brian, please, please. Hello, 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 hello. Technical problems, Brian, at this moment, probably. Technical problems, all right, I understand. Don't worry, later on I go back to you. Don't worry, don't worry. Luego regreso con usted, o si puede ver si la conexión es buena y cuando ya pueda escucharlo, dígame, teacher, I'm ready. You participate, no problem, thank you. What about you, Miss Carla Lisette Mendez? Tell me, what is a person in your house doing? Right, we give a report. Imagínese o piensa en alguien que está en su casa y reporta qué está haciendo esa persona, please. Okay. Uh, Um, my son is sleeping now. All right. Thank you so much. My son is sleeping now. Thank you. I continue asking them on people. Miss Brian, ready? Ready, teacher. Excellent, Brian. Tell me, what can you report about a person in your house? Uh, my wife er uh... Watching TV with my right. son. All right. Just remember on the verb to be, my wife is watching, right? My wife is watching. Thank you, thank my you. My wife is watching. Excellent. Thank you, thank you. Miss Ana Ivania. Hello and welcome, Miss Ania. It's good to see you. Me alegra verle, Miss Ania. Por... Ana Ivania, me alegra verle por acá. Thank you, teacher. Right. Miss, what can you report about a person in your house at this moment? Okay. Um, my son is... Uh, 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 sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, my son is dying um uh, play games. All right. My son is playing so, games. Playing games, Playing just games. like that, exactly, okay. right? In this case, doing is not necessary, right? You say, okay, my son okay. is playing games. Thank you, thank you so much. Miss Indira Hernandez, tell me, what can you report about a person in your house? And my son is playing on his bed. On his bed, thank you. Playing on his bed, that's a, that's a good report. Thank you, thank you. Let's continue. Sí, una con... pregunta, perdón. Tell me, go ahead, go ahead. Y cuando uno quiere decir, digamos, está jugando PlayStation, siempre he tenido esa duda. 
¿Cómo se ah, dice? porque se repite playing play, play PlayStation. Uh -huh. In this case, because you're using the proper name, it is possible. Es probable, es posible utilizar el nombre propio tal vez del juego, ¿verdad? Si no quiere sonar tan repetitivo, usted podría decir my son is playing video games. ¿Verdad? Porque en realidad, en este caso, eh, la persona está jugando videojuegos. Que la plataforma pueda ser un PlayStation, esa es como información extra. Entonces, para no sonar repetitivo, ¿verdad? Porque la persona está jugando videojuegos. Podríamos reportarlo de esa forma. My son is playing video games. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure, my pleasure. Miss Giselle, Giselle, tell me, what can you report about a person in your house? I report my sister is listening to music. Is listening to music. Thank you so much. Miss Sandra, Sandra Campos, what can you report about a person in your house? My... Niece is niece? writing. Writing. Mm -hmm. Niece is writing. Is writing. Escribiendo. Mm -hmm. Right. Ah. Sí. Writing. Yes. Okay. Writing. Perfect. 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 Thank you so much, people, for your collaboration on reporting information. Remember to be alert and to be aware to use the correct verb to be. And remember the action in ing, right? That should be the the order for for this. Mr. Brian, is there a question, Brian? No, not the chair. Not at this one. All right, no problem. Checking on this one, people. Asking on wh words. Let's see how much we remember about this information. Tell me when you include the wh word who. What type of information can we obtain? Information about a place, information about time, information about a person, or an explanation yes. for something? Tell me. Information about person. Thank you, uh, Evelyn. Person. Thank you, people. Exactly, exactly. Information about person. What about for the WH word where? Information about place. place. Thank you. Fine information about place. That is nice. Take a look at the next one. When? What type of information? Cuando. Information. About time. About time. time. About time. About time. Thank about you. Time. Thank you. Information about time. Information about time. Thank you. Take a look at the next one. When you ask what? What information can we obtain? Information about something. Excellent. That's fine. Perfect. Perfect. Something. About something in general, right? Probably uh, an idea, an opinion, or probably about an object. It's possible. Okay. Take a look at the last one. Why? What type of information? Do we receive uh, an explanation? An explanation. About a reason. About a reason. Thank you so much. Perfect. Perfect. That's fine. About you that. ask information about an explanation or about a reason. Right? You explain why. Thank yes. you. Thank you so much. Well done. This is inform this is important for the next practice. Take a look at my next picture. At this moment, we have a speaking practice. And in this one, we incorporate WH questions to the practice about the progressive. Take a look at the people, right? What is the name of the first person that we have on the screen? What is the name of this person? Peter. His, name, his Peter. name is, his name Peter. is Peter. Peter. Right? His name Take, is Peter. His name is Peter. Peter. Thank you. What about these people? What are their names? Their names are? Their names are Lucy and Steve. Their names are Lucy and Steve. 
Thank you, thank you. What about the other people here in the table? What are their names? They are their are name are names are Jim and are Rachel. Jim and Rachel. Jim and Rachel. Take a look at this person. Take a look at this man. What is his name? His name is John. John. It's John. Thank you. Take a look at this lady. What is her name? Her name is Amanda. Amanda. Yeah. Amanda. What about these two boys in the bicycles? What are their names? Their name, their name, name, is name are Rolando, Victor. Ronald and 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 Victor. Thank my you. Thank my brother. you. Your brother, who? Ronald or Victor? Victor. Victor. Ah, oh, man, that's your brother. Thank you, thank you. What is this lady's name? What is her name, people? Her name is Stephanie. Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie, thank you. And what about, but not the classmate, right? Not our classmate. Right? Mm -hmm. No. No es nuestra compañera, ¿verdad? Es otra Stephanie. Uh, other, no. other lady, other lady Stephanie. Right, thank you. Take a look at the last one. What is this person's name? His name, His name, name is Joe. 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 His name is Joe. Perfect. At this moment, we Joe. practice asking questions. Yesterday, we practiced the general question. The general question, right? What is Peter doing? What are Lucy and Steve doing? What is John doing? That is a general question, right? Asking about the action. But at this moment, we incorporate a new element. Take a look at my question. And I ask you, and I ask, and I ask all of you, who is sleeping? Who is sleeping? Is sleeping is, is, is Amanda. 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 Is sleeping. Amanda. Thank you. Amanda is yes, sleeping. Yes, yes. Remember or the Amanda remember on the sleeping. order. Thank Amanda, you. Is Amanda, is Amanda is sleeping. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me who is swimming? Who is swimming? Thank you. Thank you. Tell me who is walking the dog? Hmm? Ah, Stephanie. Stephanie is walking the dog. Excellent, excellent. Take a look at my next question. Where, remember, we're talking about the place. Where is Joe playing? Use your imagination, use your imagination. He is playing in... He's playing the tennis camp. Park. Excellent. Uh -huh. In the park, that is other possibility. Thank you. Take a look at this question. The question is not what is Joe doing, right? It's not that one. Where is Joe playing? Talking about the place. Exactly, Tito. Exactly. Okay. That's fine. We incorporate a new question. Acá ya no estamos solo preguntando qué está haciendo la persona, que eso es lo que vimos ayer, ¿verdad? ¿Qué está haciendo tal persona? Y reportamos la acción. Acá le incorporamos una diferente eh, WH word y con eso ya nos cambia la, el tipo de respuesta. Por eso era esencial que recordáramos el uso de las WH questions antes de esta práctica. Where is Joe playing? He is playing in the park. He is playing in the tennis camp. He is playing in his house. Different alternatives, ¿verdad? Basado en la imagen, no tenemos una información concreta, pero ocupando nuestra imaginación, podemos incluir cualquier complemento. Right? Take a look at the next one, number three. Why, right? Remember a reason. Why is Peter doing the laundry? And I am going to ask the question to a specific people, right? And use your imagination. Pues su imaginación yes. porque la respuesta no la tenemos tal cual literal. Let me see. Miss Azucena Enriquez. Azucena Enriquez. Why mm. is Peter doing the laundry? Because um, he's uh, watching the clothes. All right. That is what he's doing. 
In this case, you can say he is doing the laundry. But tell me, why? Use your imagination. Ocupen su imaginación, me está sustenta. ¿Por qué será que él está, está lavando ropa? Ahí no tenemos respuesta. Ahí ocupamos nuestra imaginación para dar una explicación. Why is he doing the laundry? Because I don't clean clothes. <laughs> Because he doesn't have clean clothes. That could be an expense. Clothes. Doesn't have clean clothes clean clothes. Miss Azucena, going back to you, what can you tell us? Why is he doing the laundry? Yeah. Because um, uh, clean the, the, the clothes uh, or uh, um, no se me ocurre otra cosa. All right, no problem. But tell me in Spanish and I can help you. Dígame en español y yo le ayudo con gusto. ¿Por qué cree que él está lavando la ropa? Eh, Tiene la ropa sucia. Eh, okay. Because his clothes are dirty. Because his because clothes are dirty. His clothes, clothes are dirty. All right, thank you. Perfect. Thank okay. you so much. All right, take a look at my next question, people. And this is the general question. What is John doing? Any person, volunteers, what is John doing? He is, he is swimming. swimming. He, he is, is swimming. swimming. Right, thank you, thank you. John and I asked, John is swimming. Thank you, Esmeralda, that's correct. John is swimming. And tell me, let me see, let me ask on a person. Uh, and, as, and I ask on Madeline Beatriz. Madeline, where is John swimming? Where is John swimming? John is swimming in the pool. Excellent. John is swimming in the pool. Thank you. Excellent. Ahí nuestra compañera reportó que él está nadando en la piscina. Thank you. That's a good compliment. Thank you. We can also express what other alternatives can we express? John swimming yeah. in the Tunco Beach. In the Tunco yeah. Beach. Excellent. That's a good compliment. <laughs> Excellent. Any other? John is swimming, swimming in, open... in the river. In the river. In the river. River. In the yeah. open ocean, probably, right? Open Orlando. ocean. Excellent. And I include my, my personal opinion. John is swimming in the lake, in Cuatepeque Lake. Right? Just to give you an idea. Thank you John so much. John is swimming in the Gulf of the Fonseca. Ah, excellent. Thank you. Close to Tito, right? Close <laughs> to his house. Excellent. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. At this moment, people, we have a speaking practice and we do something similar to this one. We are going to create questions similar to the ones I was working with and you are going to create questions, WH questions. We do something similar. Les voy a compartir por acá en el chat la captura de esta, de esta imagen, ¿verdad? De lo que tenemos por ahí. O si usted tiene su teléfono y está en su computadora, puede tomarle una foto como usted crea conveniente. O una captura de pantalla. Whatever works for you. Lo que funcione mejor para usted. Thank you. At this moment, we are going to have a practice. Como les mencionaba, vamos a hacer una práctica. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. Vamos a hacer preguntas, pero ya no nos vamos a quedar solo con qué está haciendo tal persona, ¿verdad? Porque eso es lo facilito, right? The piece of cake, eso es facilito. Ahora vamos a incorporar un nuevo elemento, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, Amanda, tell me, where is Amanda sleeping? ¿Dónde está durmiendo Amanda? Ah, she's sleeping in the bed. She's sleeping at work. Imagínense. Yo quiero reportar que ella está durmiendo en el trabajo. Right? Usted utiliza su imaginación, right? No problem, no restriction. Other possible question. What are Jim and Rachel eating? Ah, they are eating pupusas. Use your imagination. You are free to imagine the answer. Usted es libre de utilizar su imaginación y de reportar información siempre y cuando utilicemos la estructura que estamos estudiando. 
Any question before we begin the practice? No question. No question, teacher. Right, perfect. I will be no monitoring question, you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I will be checking on you and I will try to help you if necessary. At this moment, we begin the practice. Thank you so much. Hello, hello. Estabas, estabas, estabas solo en la sala, no había nadie más conectado ahí. No sé si oh. estaba en par. No, 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 teníamos, eh, estábamos cabales, nada más que creo que su compañero o compañera ah. tenía problemas de conexión. Déjeme ver por acá. Let me see, Miss Madeline. Va. Are you ready okay, to okay. practice? Let me see. Miss Madeline. No, sí, tengo problemas de conexión. Como okay. me saca de la reunión. No problem. At this moment, let's stay in this part. Voy a dejar en este caso en la sala principal porque justamente ustedes dos iban a estar en un solo grupo. Así, si les da problemas, regresamos a la misma sala y practicamos acá, ¿verdad? Para evitar el proceso de irnos a la mini sala y que nos saque, nos quedamos en este momento acá y podemos practicar. Ok. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will be checking on you. Voy a chequear a sus compañeros y ya regreso para escucharles cómo estamos no. practicando. Thank you. Okay, teacher. And Rachel. Uh, they are uh, eating in the restaurant. Okay. Okay. Ahora, eh, where, where is Stephanie eh, working? Stephanie is working in the park. Okay. How, how is, how is eating breakfast? How is breakfast? Or how is eating? Mm -hmm. uh, In the case, okay. Miss Sira, probably you're asking about the food. Oh. Quizá quisiera preguntar de la comida, ¿verdad? ¿Qué están comiendo? Ajá, uh cabal. -huh. Ah, perfecto. No, how. How okay. sería como? How sería como? Ajá. Uh -huh. Perdón. Entonces where? sería where um, where where is eating breakfast? All right. But Joe what? and Rachel. Joe okay. and Rachel. Sí. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. They are is eating in the restaurant. All right. Thank you so much. Just double checking on this one. Solo para asistirles un poquito en esto. 
Si preguntamos en plural, recordamos utilizar el verbo to be en plural. Entonces ya el is, como estamos hablando de dos personas, ya no nos es funcional. Ah. Utilizamos el verbo to be are, exacto. Y la pregunta debería llevar un orden diferente. Por ejemplo, where are Jim and Rachel eating breakfast? ¿Verdad? Okay. Utilizamos primero una WH question, el verbo to be. De, a continuación mencionamos las personas. En este caso sería Jim and Rachel. Y casi por último mencionamos en este caso la acción en ING. Where are Jim and Rachel having breakfast? Sira, can you create a question? Puede repetir la pregunta una vez más, Miss? Yes. Bueno, le voy a ayudar. Where, where, are, are, where are John and Rachel eating breakfast? Excellent. And the answer, Miss Anna? They are. They are uh, eating. Mm -hmm. In the restaurant. All right. They are eating in the restaurant, right? Thank you. That should be yes. a, a complete answer and a correct question. Thank you so much. Let's continue Thank working. You. No, teacher. Yo, ah, okay. No problem. I will, I will cover my face. Y más que la plataforma le dice, va, en la grabación, que no sé qué, ya el susto a uno. Antes era diferente, sí, yo entraba asalto, desapercibido, asalto. entraba yo antes, pero hoy ya no, o ya les avisa, como que aquí está el teacher, va, ni modo. <risa> right. But my intention is to help, right? Pero entro aquí perdón, para perdón. escucharles y ayudarles, yo sé, ¿verdad? Siempre existe ese nerviosismo y es comprensible, ¿verdad? Pero la idea es que sigamos practicando y si es necesario yo les ayudo, all right? Thank you. Continue Thank you. Gracias, gracias. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank, Thank you. <laughs> what what are uh -huh. and Rachel eating? Uh, they are eat, eating Mexican re restaurant Mexican. Yeah. Okay. Ahora yo. Who is um? No necesitamos la canción de otro. Why is Amanda sleeping? Amanda. Amanda is sleeping in the bathroom. Huh? Bedroom. Bedroom. En el baño. Excellent. Okay, perfect. All right. <laughs> Just double checking on that one. Nada más eh, para dar retroalimentación in this one. In the question is why, ¿verdad? Y recuerde why, que si qué? nos preguntas con why, exacto, preguntamos por qué. En ese caso podemos dar una explicación. Muy probable yo le pudiera decir, she is sleeping because it is late at night, ¿verdad? Porque es ya noche, late at night. Podría ser una explicación. Because she is tired, porque ella está cansada. Other possible answer. Remember on that one, we explain a reason. Cuando utilizamos el why, mencionamos un, un por qué, ¿verdad? Explicando una razón, en este caso, de por qué se hace cierta acción. And similar to the previous one, y similar a la pregunta anterior, que preguntaban, what are they eating? ¿Verdad? Era creo la pregunta, what. Preguntábamos, ¿qué están comiendo? En ese caso, Mexican restaurant, Probably it's not the Mexican best. One. Food. Mexican food. Excellent. Thank yes, you. Ex Mexican food. Then it's nice. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. People continue okay. working. Thank you so much. We have approximately five minutes. Tenemos aproximadamente cinco minutos. Tratemos de formular más preguntas y respuestas. Thank you so much. Gracias. Gracias, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> But because ha having, because ha having, But night. 
Okay. And he's a, he is a, a, he is Ronald and Victor riding the bike. Riding a bike. Reading a bike. Yes, yes. Yes, there. They are, but I think the question is, uh, are, uh, are Rolando and Victor ride the bike? Okay. Um, where is, where is Joe playing? Joe is playing at the park, in the park. Okay. Why, why the, why are Rolando and Victor ride, uh, ride a bike? Uh, Ronald and Victor. Riding, mm -hmm. excellent, Samara. Riding, thank you. Um, because, because, enjoy the riding a bike. Because they enjoy, remember to include the subject, because they enjoy riding a bike. Mm -hmm. Because they, because they enjoy. enjoy riding a bike. Okay. Thank you, ladies. Continue practicing. You are doing nice. Let's continue. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Who is who? Okay. Uh -huh. uh, where is uh, where are Lucy and Steve? Where are Lucy and Steve? Where? Uh, sorry. Don't stand, Lucy and yes, Steve. Where are? Ah, oh, Lucy, Lucy, Lucy and Steve are. Lucy and Steve are in um, in the in the college. Ah, in the school. In college is good. Uh huh. At the, at the school, at the school, at the school, at the library, 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 una, ah, una okay, librería, sí, una librería que vendería tal vez eh, los artículos ¿verdad? donde usted compra los implementos de escuela podría ser diferente en este Ajá, caso. Ajá. En este caso donde usted va a leer, entonces eh, y encuentra bibliografía y toda la cosa sería library. The other could be a shop. Library. Otro puede ser como okay. una tienda, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. They are in the cafeteria. Cafeteria. In the cafe, in the cafeteria. Ah, cafeteria. Ah. The cafeteria. cafeteria. And what happened to, to, to Daniel? He left. Ah, se fue. Connection problems. Luis. Connection Ajá, problems. yo creo que por la tormenta que hay ahorita. In San Salvador, really? Eh, él vive en San Marcos. Ah, ok. Eso me estaba comentando y es la misma tormenta que está cayendo aquí en Antiguo. Oh. Ahorita está conectándose, Luis. It's interesting. I have a question for you, Rolando. So we continue practicing. Rolando, okay. tell okay. me, where... Let's hola, see. hola. Hey, welcome. Welcome back. Bienvenido. Vaya, no yeah, sé por qué me, me cerró la página. Sí. Could be um, for the connection problem. Where is... Sí, creo que sí. I think so. Mm -hmm. One uh, more question. 
What is Peter? What is Peter? But in this one, uh, in this one, I will interrupt what, you. In, remember to in, remember to include the ing, ¿verdad? Porque si me pregunta what is Peter, si utilizamos el presente, pero es el presente simple, no el continuo. Entonces, para agregarle podríamos okay. decir, Mr. Rolando, where is Peter? Doing the laundry, ¿verdad? ¿Dónde okay. está lavando ropa? Peter, ¿verdad? Ah, y ahí, ya, okay. ahí sí ya, ya utilizamos el progresivo. Y la respuesta sería, he is okay. doing laundry in, ¿verdad? Él está lavando en, y ahí ocupa su imaginación, in the house, at ah, work. Where is Peter doing laundry? Ajá, thank you. He's doing laundry. He's doing laundry. Um, and your home. Dice, or, en qué momento se dice in his house, home or home? Home. It depends on the preposition. Depende a veces de la preposición. No es que cambie o que hagamos referencia a otro lugar. Podríamos, pues generalmente para home, oh, okay. usted dice at home. ¿verdad? Es como el, lo, la parejita de expresiones. Home. At home. O si va a decir house, uh -huh. in the house. ¿Verdad? Esas serían como las combinaciones, ah, okay, pero, hace, okay. pero hace referencia al mismo lugar. ¿Mm? In the house. Ok. In the house. At home. Yes, yes, thank you. Okay. At this moment, people, in we return house. in the house or at home. Thank you. We return to the main room. Vamos uh, a regresar a la sala principal. No sé si hay alguna pregunta, Rolando. Oh. No, estamos bien. Gracias. Thank you. Is any question? Ok, teacher. Thanks. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Why is Joe ah. swimming? Ah, ya están regresando todos. Okay. Ya estamos de nuevo, Cal. Solo Luis no regresó. Tiene el profe, el profe, el micrófono apagado. Pues a mí no me aparece todavía. Se Thank, you. El Thank you. No, I'm here, but I am mute. Estaba en silencio, <laughs> hablando bien contento. My goodness, my goodness. Ya ve, es que nos ponemos <laughs> nerviosos, hombre, por eso. Por eso se nos olvida encender el micrófono. All right. Brian, respondamos la pregunta que le hicieron. What is Joe doing? Ah, yeah. Really? Ah, me estaban escuchando y me estaban molestando. <laughs> ah, vaya. Ah, vaya. <laughs> No, no la escuché, la verdad. Donde vi que estaban regresando todo, ya no, no le puse atención a Madeline. Sorry. No problem, no problem. But I listen. Yo sí escuché la pregunta. Okay. What, what is Joe doing? Eso le preguntó ella. What is Joe doing? Eh, ay, no me recuerdo qué estaba haciendo Joe. Joe, playing. Ok. Ay, sorry. Uh -huh. Joe is playing. Eh, Joe is pl playing tennis in the park. Excellent. Thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you so much, people. Thank you. Thank you. I was checking on some of you. Unfortunately, unfortunately, not everybody, but I had the chance to check on you and you're doing a nice job. Just remember to create the questions in the specific order and also to create the answers, including the verb to be and the ing. Right? Nada más a los que pude darle retroalimentación, igual para todos, recordando el orden de la pregunta, WH word, verb to be, de ahí mencionamos a la persona, que sería el subject, and the next one is the action, right? And that is the way we ask, and the way we report as well. For tomorrow, we continue having practice. Vamos a seguir con esa práctica formulando preguntas para, para consolidar nuestro conocimiento y cómo reportar o cómo formular preguntas en el progresivo. Así que más en un ratito les mando la imagen ahí por WhatsApp, aunque yo creo que alguien ya la compartió, si no mal recuerdo, pero igual se las puedo volver a compartir. Así usted tiene la referencia y puede pensar en preguntas y mañana lo formulamos de una forma más espontánea. Miss Carla Lisset, tell me. Hello, hello, Carla. 
vi que tenía levantadita la manita, no sé si había una pregunta. If not, uh, I will check on the attendance at this moment, you know? Voy a chequear asistencia para finalizar la sesión de este día. Let me see on the attendance. Déjeme ver por acá mi documento. And we check on this. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Miss Alejandra Gabriela Pérez. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana Guadalupe Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you, Azucena Enríquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Brian Joalmo. Present. Thank you so much. Uh, Carolina Abigail Vázquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Cindy Tatiana Vázquez. Cindy Tatiana. Thank you. Santa Berfalia Aguilar. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Elizabeth Martínez. Claudia Elizabeth. I continue. Erika Vanessa. Present. Thank you, thank you. Esmeralda Janet Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Evelyn Abigail Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Fátima del Carmen Amaya. Present. Thank you. Giselle Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Indira Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Ana Ivania. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Josué Abraham López. Yes, he's not available at this moment. Carla Guadalupe Pacheco. Present. Thank you. Carla Lizeth Méndez. I guess she's here, but probably technical problems. No sé si tendrá problemas con su micrófono, pero sé que está por aquí conectada. All right. I continue. Luis Daniel Rosa. Present teacher. Thank you. Madeline Beatriz. Thank you. Maria Jose, not present. Mariana Dolores Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you. Marlon Napoleón Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Mr. Uh, Rina Estela Garcia. Yes, she's not available. Rolando Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you. Ruth Stephanie Melendez. Present. Thank you. Sandra Marisol Campos. Present. Thank you. Uh, Tito Alberto Hernández. Present. Thank you. And Xiomara Alejandra. Present teacher. Thank you so much, people. And with this one, we're going to finish on today's session and we continue tomorrow. Remember to check on the platform to complete on the information for the people who are missing. And remember to create more questions because tomorrow we continue practicing. Animarles a las personas que no han terminado la plataforma a trabajar durante el día de mañana, así tener ya la información completa a más tardar mañana y no jueves, ¿verdad? De preferencia. Igual, ya que tenemos eh, la imagen con las, eh, con las diferentes acciones que las personas están haciendo, durante el día mañana usted piense que pudiéramos seguir preguntando, ¿verdad? Y mañana lo hacemos de una forma más espontánea. So that is going to be for tomorrow. I appreciate on your punctuality and on the effort to be here. So have a good night and see you tomorrow, people. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. See you.